Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Today we are going to set up a profile in Outlook 2003 on a Windows XP machine. Uh, this is preparing for the Comfort Systems email migration that's scheduled for December 5th, 2011. So if you're doing this ahead of time, uh, you're good to go. First thing we want to do is if you are a remote employee, uh, someone who is not in one of the corporate offices, you do need to connect to the VPN. There is another instructional video on our channel about how to connect to the VPN. Make sure that you're connected to the VPN if you are remote, you know, you're in service or operations, you're outside of the Riddleburger Mount Crawford office or the corporate office in Houston. As long as you're outside, you need to be on the VPN. First step is to figure out what version of Microsoft Office you have. Easiest way to do that is to get the Start button and look at some of the icons that you have. If it says 2003, you probably got Office 2003, which means you have Outlook 2003. If you have to go into All Programs and look at the Office Program Group, you will see 2003 everywhere, then that's great. That means you're watching the correct video. There's a couple extra steps that you have to do on Office 2003 that you don't have to do on Office 2007 or 2010. There's other videos for that. If you've got 2003, continue on with this video. First thing you want to do is bring up is close Outlook if you have that uh, open. Go to the control panel and open the control panel. Now this is in the classic view right now and I have an icon that says mail which if your view is classic like this double left click on the mail icon. If your view is category view which means it's like this you need to select user accounts and mail by left clicking on both of those icons. You will see here that you have a mail setup window. Show profiles is what you want to select, so click on show profiles. Now you have what's called a couple of choices here. These are actually radio buttons. It's probably set to always use this profile. I want you to change it to prompt for profile to be used. The reason being is that you're going to set up a profile that you're going to use starting December 5th, not that you're going to use right now. Right now you want to make note of what your profile currently is, whatever that says right there, make note of that. Choose prompt for new profile to be used. Next thing is to ch click on the add button and make your profile name CS email so that everybody and the company has the same profile name, CS email, and hit OK. Now you're going to be asked uh, another question here. Do you want to add a new mail account? Yes, I want to add a new email account. Hit Next. Here you want to choose Microsoft Exchange Server. Select that radio button there and hit Next. The choice here that you want to choose is for Exchange Server, you want to type in the IP address 10.66.150.168. That is the numbers 10, and then you want to use the period or the decimal point if you're using the keypad 10.66.150.168. Be sure if it's not checked to choose to select used cache mode. You want to make sure that's connected there. Now, here you want to type your first name dot last name which is your username now your username might be a little bit different you may be going by your preferred name like in my case I am my first name is Charles but I know my email and my account the username that I enrolled as is robert.cone so I'm going to type robert.cone here now you might want to choose the check name here but since you're on 2003 you need to do something slightly different click more settings and when this box comes up to ask you to put in your password you want to cancel out of it don't put a password in just yet here when this comes up the exchange server you've got multiple tabs across the top you want to select the security tab 
and check the encrypt data between Microsoft Office Outlook and Exchange Server. Apply and OK. Now you can hit check names. You will be presented with this box here. More than likely it will come up like this. It will say CSU backslash and your username. You want to, you're going to have to change it from saying CSU here to CS and then type in your username. We are basically, part of this migration is we're going from the CSU domain that, house, that hosts our email to the CS domain that hosts our email. So you have to get your password right here uh, and that includes the domain portion of your username. Now this password is the password that we're setting up um, that you already had set up when you enrolled in the enrollment process. You answered a couple questions, you hit reset, you were able to input a new password. This is the password that it's asking for now. Nobody should know this password but you. And you want to choose remember your password. Hit OK. Now give it a few seconds. This could take a while depending on your link speed. It is going to resolve which email server you're on and your mailbox name. Which it's done. Now you can see we've got uh, CS Webmail and it's underlined. My name is also underlined. You want to again check use cache mode. Make sure that's checked. Now you may be on a different server than I'm. I'm on four. You may be on a different one. We need to go back into more settings and choose the connection tab this time. Click connect to my exchange mailbox using HTTP. Again with the left click. Make sure that's checked in there. Exchange proxy settings. Here we're going to type webmail dot com sys usa dot com so that again is w e b m a i l dot c o m s y s usa dot com we want to check this for on fast networks and for on slow networks make sure both of those are checked check the basic authentication that grays out connect using ssl only we want it to remain like that so if your screen is set up exactly like this, you can hit OK, apply, OK. Make sure cache mode is checked here, next, and finished. Now when you log into Outlook, and you can close all the windows that you have open, it's going to ask you which profile you want to log on to. From now until December 5th, you want to use whatever profile you originally had. What was there in the profile screen before you added the CS email one? After December 5th, you want to hit this down arrow, click CS email, choose the options, set as default, then it'll always open up on CS email. But you want to do that on December 5th, Monday, December 5th, or afterwards. For now, we're going to go to our normal email and hit OK. You may be prompted for the password at this time. You want to make sure that you are entering CSU backslash your username until December 5th or if you log into the CS email profile. Right here we can see it's asking me for my CS username. I can down arrow and hit CSU and enter in my password. If I could type it right. Thank you again for watching this and if you have any questions please contact the help desk.